Now, whether I'm writing a game, building a website, or whatever I'm doing, I like to be very efficient at it. And one of the stumbling blocks I was having was writing product descriptions for some drop shipping sites I was doing. I can write product descriptions, but I get stuck on the beginning. So I thought of this tool that generates a first line for a story that authors often use. Just something to get you started. So that's what I came up with here, is a tool to help you write your product descriptions. No tool can do it all for you, but this will save you a lot of time and push you ahead. Let me show you what I mean. I'm using a lot of things off AliExpress, and I'll just pick a woman's dress here, and I know nothing next to women's fashion. It is not something that has really dominated my life. But let's pick out a random dress here, this elegant long sleeve bodycon dress pencil dress, and I'll click that. And AliExpress, while well, it's a wonderful site, it doesn't do a lot in terms of product descriptions. It gives you some information. So as I say, I don't know a lot about women's fashion, but I do know that it comes under the category of women's clothing, and I know it comes under the category of a dress. And the first thing it asks for is a hemline. So we go over here, and under the information, it does have a knee length, dresses length in its information here. But if it didn't, I could also just look at the picture and try to match it up with the drawings I have here in the tool. So I select knee length, and then it needs a closure. And it says zipper back. And I'll go back over here to the app. And back zipper and the back style. Now it doesn't say anything about the back style, so I'm gonna to have to go up to the picture and try to figure it out from that. Most of the time they will have a picture from the back. There it is, and it's closed. So I'll select closed, and then it wants a color. Now it has several different colors, so if you don't want a specific color in there, then you can just hit skip. You can hit skip for any of these. And now we need to choose a neckline. Now it says O neck here, but I go over here and I look at the picture of O neck and I look at this picture. It doesn't seem like an O neck to me. It looks more like the halter. So even though it says O neck, I'm gonna choose halter there. And now we need a sleeve length. And what does it say? Full. So I will take that to mean long. And we can see from the pictures that it's long sleeves. Now it wants a sleeve style, and I do like those sleeve styles, but we don't always have one that will match up exactly. And like I said, if you can't find it, you can always hit skip or just try to match it up visually and pick the closest match. I'll hit skip here, and since that is our last detail to fill out, it'll take us to the product description. So what I like to do is keep hitting generate new till I see one that I like but then I never just copy and paste that on its own. What I like to do is to edit it a little bit, to give it a little bit of a human touch. So we'll use this one. This dress will soon become a wardrobe favorite. The dress has a back zipper, will make your tummy and your behind look strikingly smaller. The halter neckline makes a statement on its own. And the long sleeves will keep you feeling cozy all day, and the slimming black color will make you look dazzling. So I'm going to take out the word wardrobe there and change it to your favorite. This dress will soon become your favorite. The dress has a back zipper that will make your tummy and your behind look strikingly smaller. And I have a tool here, a thesaurus, that is a Chrome extension. And I go through looking for better words in there. So strikingly can become spectacularly or stunningly. We'll change cozy to comfortable all day, and the slimming black color makes you quite dazzling. The dress will soon become your preferred favorite. So all in all, it took me about six minutes to do this product description, even though I'm editing it and coming up with a lot of things on my own. If I had to come up with something from scratch, it would take me a lot longer than six minutes. So this is how I would suggest using this tool. Use it to help you along in your product descriptions, but put a lot of your own stuff into it as well. Give it a bit of humanity, give it a personal touch, and customers will react to that. But it's a great tool for getting unstuck.
Thank you for watching and I hope you find this tool useful.